Hi, welcome to another video. So this is CAN Communication Part 3. And hi Kofi, you as well as I want to know what data does the MaxiScan scanner send out to interrogate the engine or ABS? What sort of codes does it send out? So what I've got set up here at the moment, my PIC microcontroller using the EasyPIC Fusion Version 10 from Microelectronica 32-bit microcontroller there's a CAN transceiver down here just under the wire foot of wire just twisted down there for the CAN I didn't have any small resistors but this is roughly 60-70 ohms to mimic a CAN line just to get the correct loading on the CAN so this isn't running at the moment, look, failed to connect so I've got my PIC microcontroller running and you see there so that mimics the Peugeot, so it's a 208, the same ID as the Peugeot, uh, 308 from 2009. I'm now, now sending 8 bits of data. Remember these first couple of bits were the revs, fuel, brake or something was here, then the throttle position sensor, that's probably the speed, and then engine load maybe on the Peugeot, and that's the CRC check sum. And I've got no receiver acknowledging this message so this is in red so I've got no acknowledge but for the maxi scan reader I've got my power supply just I've turned it down to 9 volts because it doesn't need 12 that's obviously the maxi scan reader and now it's connected to the can line I can run down and when I press the enter I can try and capture the signal on the scope to see its identity and what the broadcast message is the initial one to you know what ECUs are on the vehicle so I've done this already yesterday so I know the MaxiScan ID is actually 7DF so if I change this trigger point so rather than triggering on something beginning with a 2 I'll go to the bits I know the MaxiScan is 7 so that's 7DF just in the 11-bit frame uh, it's a regular identifier, so 7. I need to set this from a 2 to a 7. Right, that's now on 7, so it's not triggering to my PIC microcontroller. So I can turn that off. Actually, I'll, I don't have to turn it off. I'll leave it running, and that will stop when this maxi scan sends images. So now on the maxi scan, I'll press Enter. And boom, straight away. That's the message from the maxi scan. So that's its ID. Eight bits of data, but this must be the code to request information from the car. So it's O2, I don't know if that's mode two or mode one. So O2 O1 0 0 and CRC. But I've obviously not got an engine ECU in here. I did have a look on eBay actually see enough I could get an engine and cluster that sort of stuff but then it's not uh, just an engine and a cluster isn't enough by itself I want maybe an airbag ECU or entertainment just to see the various nodes communicating so what I'll have to do put this on the car press that button again that will be the broadcast message from the maxi scan uh, and we'll see what the car responds with so I know the car is 208 I can synchronize this to stop on any messages from 208 and go from there. Oh, incidentally, that maxi scanner can send, if it doesn't receive a code using the normal 11 bit identifier, it sends the extended frame. So if I show you here, extended frame. So this extended frame is compatible with the vehicles that require a 32 bit ID. So I've done this before as well, so now extended ID, I now set the digit, digit 7, I've got to go back and set this one to X, so X means anything, that's anything, and I've done it before, I've already got the most significant bit set as a 1, so what I'll do single capture again so now this maxi scanner is going to send out loads of messages and try and communicate and there we go and because I've got my PIC microcontroller running 
look you see we got no error frame if I pull up the data here no error M my pick happened to say yes that's some good data and acknowledged it so get rid of that move this over that's the maxi scan sending out an extended frame so instead of 11 bits we've got 29 including a couple of bits in the middle but that's the extended frame identifier that I believe someone was asking about but I forget his name just one of the other standards so, so that um, sort of complies with the uh, the PGN uh, identifier just needs a sort of is that 32 bit uh, identifier or whatever 32 64 whatever it is anyway that's the extended identifier and then you've still got data length code uh, 8 uh, so 8 we're sending 8 bytes and the same message 02010099999 so that's obviously what this sends out to yeah, broadcast that message and see what ECUs respond. Right, I'm set up in the car. If you think it's noisy, it's because it's raining, so can't do anything about that. So there's the maxi scanner, there's the scope. So I've turned the ignition on, pressed the maxi scanner, it sent that same message I showed you a second ago. Uh, and I thought, right, well, I'll just synchronize this scope to read anything with seven. And if I show you again, so I'm not touching the maxi scanner at the moment. You see, there's some identifier on the vehicle beginning with 792. Let me zoom you in a bit. Synchronize the scope. And you see, there's something on the vehicle with an identifier of 792. So now, if I, on the maxi scanner, if I exit and then go back into read codes, I can't do anything because this 792 keeps on communicating. So I don't want to start pulling fuses on the car. It's already got a fault logged in the memory. So I know the scanner is 7DF. So on this Keysight scope, in case you're not familiar, I've got it synchronized to 11 bit ID 7, but I can change this second digit to a D since so X is anything so I know the scanner is a D there we are so now anything starting with 7D this is now going to synchronize to it so there's a scanner so what I'm going to do I'm going to press the enter which is read codes so and again I'm outside so I can't do anything about this glare it's coming coming in through the windscreen over here so Right, I'll press this, read codes, and we'll see what the scanner sends out. So we've got the same ID, that's the scanner, you probably heard me press the button. So it's sending out 8 bits of data. So we're in 01, 03, so one of these is a mode. Then we've still got this end bit, 5 bytes of 9999, and then that's a CRC check. So I need to write this down, then I can mimic the response or what this sends to the car, I can program my pick microcontroller to do the same. Actually, I got that wrong. So to the first interrogation of the vehicle, it was those numbers, then a zero and then five 99s. But now I've, I've actually just spotted there's six 99s. That's the read, the codes. So now really what I need to do is go back to the engine set it to 208 which I believe is the engine press that read code which will send out the 7DF and see what the engine responds with see if it's 208 or hopefully it is let me set that up I've got a bit of trouble got to figure out how to do this so the engine is transmitting all the time I've actually triggered this scope to set up a trigger on 208 but I'm still getting this 228 here that's obviously transmitting immediately after the engine uh, what I didn't say in the other video, so we're getting RPM, uh, probably speed, throttle position sensor. It's, it's probably sending out the RPM and all that sort of stuff continuously just for the instrument cluster. Yeah, so we get that without interrogating it. So now what I'm probably going to have to do is br bring in loads of lines. Press the button to read the codes 
and hopefully we catch one of them uh, saying the response to the read error code message. The, because the car ECU is sending huge amounts of data every, you know, millisecond, I can't get this scope to trigger. It hasn't got a big enough memory to trigger and capture all the data within a second while I press the read error codes on the scanner and then see what the engine replies with. So what I'll do, I'll go through the Maxi scanner sequentially and just let you see what the scanner is sending out just to read codes, uh, a store code or that sort of stuff. So right, read codes, I'll, pre I'll press read codes now. Hopefully you'll hear me press the button. Read codes. So it changed that bit there was was it a zero it's now so we got six 99s instead of five that's for read error messages now down to erase and it will ask me to confirm so we'll see what happens so I'm on erase codes it says are you sure yes and that's to erase the codes so we got something different again. So one, two, three, four, five. So we've still got six 99s, seven DFs, the same identifier, but look, this O1 and that's O4. So O4 must be mean erase codes. So I'm gonna write that down on my notepad. So read codes was O1, O3, erase O1, O4. That CRC check is all this data, including the ID. So if the ID changes, that CRC will change as well. Fortunately, programmers don't have to program this number. Don't, there's no long formula. Uh, it's all done in hardware. The, yeah, the chip does it within the internal circuitry, so it just spits out a number, so that's really clever. Then we've got view freeze frame. So remember, I've got this 7DF, so anything the 7DF sends the maxi scanner, this is going to capture what it's sending. So now I'm down to hopefully you can see without this glare. So I'm now going to press that. So I've done the recode, erase codes, view freeze frame. Right, and I'll press that now. So that's changed quite a bit. So 0302. and then zero, zero, and then four ninety nines again. So that's view freeze frame. One of these bits in, I don't know if it's the identifier, one of the other bits, there's a bit where it says uh, a remote frame a transmission. So I don't know if this is a remote frame, but one of those bits means it's not sending out eight bits of data, this scanner, it wants eight bits of data. So whatever it's communicating to is going to give eight bits of data back. So I'm not sure if that's the remote frame transmission or one of the other bits that's saying it's going to send eight bits of data or there's going to be no data and it's just a request. But this code is, it wants eight bits of data. Right, so now I'm going to press uh, on this maxi scan. It's number five, so vehicle info. Enter. Turn key on with engine off. I have, oh, no, that took a while to come up. So that's vehicle info. So requesting eight digits again, 0209. 0209 info. Hi, so back inside again. I programmed this board to mimic what the engine was sending out with the ignition off. Hopefully you remember when I was in the car, that's the data we had. So no revs, uh, the 6 is the fuel, uh, FF for the speedo, I think. Anyway, I sent that and I didn't get a response, didn't get an acknowledge. So the revs or and speedo couldn't start counting up. Probably because my data is slightly slower than the car one. So the car's obviously going to uh, the, you know, win in that case. Uh, I tried to disconnect the ECU for the engine, 
but the bracket is riveted on, so had no joy, couldn't disconnect it, which meant I couldn't sort of replace the engine ECU and hopefully get the instrument cluster to show some speed and revs, that sort of stuff. So anyway, hopefully it's given you an insight to what the Maxi Scan scanner certainly uh, you know sends out when interrogating the car. Hopefully, hopefully you found this helpful. Thank you very much.